Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. So, as you probably already know, we have a new major update coming out, and that's going to be adding weapons to Stormworks in the form of a DLC, which is really exciting and right around the corner. So, we're going to be preparing for the update, creating some vehicles, and overall, just having things to chuck a bunch of guns on, which should be pretty fun. So, here I have a helicopter. I kind of based it off the Apache, it's not really an Apache though. But uh, yeah, so the devs have been adding a few blocks and changes in uh, some minor updates recently. And so I thought I'd go through and show you what they are and we'll just be kind of preparing for the weapons. Let's go. So I wanted to show you this helicopter real quick because there is a cool feature that the devs had recently added and this is this is going to be for mouse aiming on seats and uh, one sec I'll get out the hangar real quick so right now I'm literally flying with the mouse controls uh, WSD and arrow keys as normal you would probably see most vehicles controlled like this at least air vehicles but now if you notice down in my seat control list and that is going to switch my controls to mouse aim so now I have collective on WS uh, the role has stayed the same, but now your and pitch is now following my mouse, which is really cool because now it basically frees up your look because before you had to have both hands on the keyboard, which would limit your ability to look around. And so this is going to be really good for aiming weapons and just generally having more freedom of control. And so, yeah, I'm literally flying right now with my mouse and uh, yeah it's great all right so here's an example of where you may use this so on the seat we have two new nodes here and this is going to be for look x and look y these are really cool because depending on where you move your mouse from the straight point of the seat these will give a value for your x and y and how far they are away and so what i've got here is a maybe gun turret or something and I have a couple pivots here. Uh, one is connected to the X here and the other to the Y. And they go through these functions, which are pretty simple to basically get a, a smooth inline movement with your mouse. I've had to times them by four. That's uh, been going around as the best for pivots. But uh, on the helicopter, I've times them by their own values for pitch and roll to my taste uh, around between maybe three and 10 are good values to times these by because they don't come out very high values themselves, maybe 0 0.07 if you're looking just a little bit off axis. So we'll spawn this and uh, yeah, maybe you might have a gunner or something. And as you can see, the turret is following where I look, which is really cool. So the next thing we'll be looking at is the hardpoint connectors and these are really cool because they act like normal connectors but they are designed for maybe uh, missile racks or some other kind of ordnance and they have a whole list of the different types you can use. So on the block it's like a 3 by one and we have a fluid port on here so this is going to be for maybe drop tanks or extra fuel tanks that you can actually connect on to the underside of a wing for say. But uh, yeah, it's really universal of what you can use these for. And I'll show you just how to set one up real quick in the editor. So we'll use the body connector, obviously on the wing of something on the body. And then we'll use the hard point connector attachment. And this will be what will go on our ordinance. So this is a smaller block. For sake of this, let's build a little missile here or rocket. It's not going to be guided, but uh, yeah, we... We can put a few boosters on here and maybe we'll stick a air filter as a temporary nose cone, I guess, because we don't have the uh, the warheads yet. But as you can see, if we go into the select tool, we have all the different types of utility here. And there's we can kind of guess as to what there's going to be in the update. There's actually so many. We've got all the different types of missiles, bombs, torpedoes even. I can't wait to make some of those and cannons on here. And so the ordnance type will be output 
on the hard point itself with numbers corresponding to the different types of ornaments that you've selected here. So on the body connector we have two options for actually sending off our ordnance and that's going to be launch and release. Release is simple just drop like release on a normal connector and so in this case our missile will just fall to the floor and uh, not do anything. But then we also have launch which if you see this output here it says launch and what happens if you press launch it will actually activate this launched output and so we can put that on our trigger. So what we can do is send a push button to here and without any kind of extra faff we can simply launch our missile which is really cool with one button. So I had to move the missile up one with the merge tool and make it its own entity but now we have our missile connected to the hard point right here and this is going to be really cool because once, once we push the button here boom there goes the missile and it went straight up but yeah where is it it's gone the missile's completely gone but yes that was really cool and I uh, can't wait to get these on for some vehicles Another cool feature that the devs have added to the seats is the trigger button here. And I have these set up with the missiles on the hard points on my helicopter here. This is pretty cool because what we can do now is have a button on our mouse or anywhere on the keyboard send off from the seat. Now in the bindings it was set as space by default for me but I've had it changed to left mouse button so when I fire my weapons, I can do that all from my mouse with my right hand, which is pretty cool while I'm controlling my helicopter or something. And so we'll go and test this out and we'll fly a helicopter out and try and shoot these missiles off. So here I am in mouse aim mode and we're going to try and fire upon this mounting with the missiles. So in three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the missiles just went straight to space. Um, right, okay. That's something we're going to have to uh, try and figure out. But uh, yeah, that was pretty successful otherwise. But yeah, so I'm super excited for the weapons update. I hope you guys are too. And uh, I'll be making lots of videos when that comes out. If you don't, you worry. So if you like this video, then do hit that subscribe button. And uh, turn the bell on and all that good stuff. And... Uh, well, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.